a very important message that a lot of people, especially Christians, Jews, Muslims, religious people in general, especially Christians, a message that all of them should know. Hello everyone, once again this is Dare to Speak. In my honest opinion, the movie Religious and Bill Maher, I think he's like one of the greatest people that you could actually listen to when it comes to this particular subject. Another person would be Seth MacFarlane who's the creator of Family Guy. A lot of things that he has to say 
a lot of the things he actually said makes a whole lot of sense. Especially when he was on his show. Now, I came across a, um, a Christian person who said something to me and they wanted me to look up because he saw a few of my videos and also he saw one of my comments on on this um, very dangerous brainwashing and even stupid type of um, video in which they were saying that rock stars and and people like Selena, the Mexican singer Selena, and Michael Jackson, and Bruce Lee is in hell. Even though he's not a rock star, but he's a, a celebrity. The demons are torturing him and and, uh, and saying that the, the only reason why he's very good in martial arts is because uh, the demons are helping him. That it's impossible for an ordinary um, human being to be that good. You thought it was just all you, but it was really us helping you. And you gave yourself to us. And, and, and by renouncing the idea of Jesus and God, that's how you did it as well. And all this other stupid shit. I just couldn't help but to shake my head and how stupid that whole thing was. And then Selena burning in hell because of her music. And Michael Jackson, and I already explained already on that, on on, on how that actually, um, how that really happened in my opinion. And he wanted me to watch this uh, Christian channel, and I did, and I made a comment, and uh, he didn't like my comment at all. And he started saying, "Well, I'll pray for you, my corrupted." minded brother and, and this and that and and this stupid ass started um trying to gain the moral high ground by by putting scriptures bible verses a long a long line of like a big whole like uh page or whatever like motherfucker are you writing a book it says isaiah this or psalms whatever and you know whatever Different parts of the Bible. Like that's really going to change me if I read it. Or I'm going to have an epiphany if I if I read that. And all this other stupid shit. And so I said. Sir I just believe in science. Science makes more sense than religion. It's, it makes more sense than the Bible. And here you are praising something that's actually a, a basically a book of a. Uh, Folklore and not to mention it was been distorted and changed. I mentioned the Council of Nicaea I mentioned about Constantine I mentioned about uh, the political corruption He doesn't get it and and it says all I know is the Word of God is get the, exactly that's all you know Because you've been programmed you've been programmed into your head about what's considered real, what's considered right and wrong. You gotta think outside the box. You gotta, you know, ex investigate this and that. I kind of told him that, and he says, "I don't need to. I don't need to watch any of your videos, my corrupted brother." And he says, well, "Well, I'm watching yours. I mean, even though I think your video channel is stupid, at least I took the time to watch it, and I haven't said anything bad about you." And then here he is putting me down. He doesn't even know me. And then he starts saying, you think that religion is your God? And, and, and he starts putting me down. And <laughs> like, it's, like it's very, very immature. So I basically put him in his place. And he wouldn't answer me back. And this guy's a, a pastor of, or, or whatever, of some kind of a stupid Christian church that he's, or, or, I, or I don't know what the hell he's into. But um, everybody's so high, so um, I'm sure, <clears throat> excuse me. Everybody is so hardwired, seriously hardwired in, in, into their head about this dangerous, extremely dangerous, no good religion. 
I mean, Judaism and Islam is, is to me, also very bad. Judaism, I would put it in the third category as being one, one of the worst of the three monotheistic religions. Islam would be the second worst because of their radical thinking and about, and also I put out that video about um, the Prophet Muhammad being a pedophile. 51 or 52 years old or something like that and, and he married a, a six-year-old girl and all the things he'd done to her and he's a violent prophet and and people praise this guy. I mean, you can't hide what's, what's really the truth and and I said about King James being um, a homosexual. He, he also loved... Uh, uh, torturing people, innocent people. He was he was power hungry. That's why he had he had a great deal of power, and he, and here he is condemning homosexuality. And then people are saying, "Well, if he's how can he be a homosexual if he's condemning homosexuality and punishing people because he's the king? He can he can get away with it. That's why he can get away with you know." Having sex with men, possibly even underage or barely legal, for all I know, who knows what, what limit did, um, this guy actually has. He probably has no limits. Once you have that kind of power, you can do anything you want. You don't have to worry about consequences. There's no punishment. There's no judgment. You know, in this life, you know, for people who, who actually believe that. I believe it also in this life, and I don't know, I'm not going to get into uh, the afterlife thing. I'm not going to get into that. But he can get away with it, and he could actually cover up a lot of the stuff that he did. And, and of course, and if anybody were to speak out, contradict, be outspoken, and say things that he did, of course, they would be killed, you know, like, automatically. And any information would be just written down, that, that is written down, will be thrown away. The Bible is extremely dangerous. And I, and the video that I did when I was ripping the Bible pages, I, to this very day, I don't regret it. I don't regret it, and I hope that somebody will actually follow and do the same thing. Um... This is what the world has come to when it comes to a uh, blind submission to authority from fairy tales or folklore. All these myths and stuff like that. I think it's very sad that people actually are putting their faith in, into that garbage. And it's also extremely dangerous. Well, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, you know what to do. And this is Dare to Speak. And to all of you, take care.